which airline has the best first class product of 2022? And what's the future of flying first class looks like? First move, it's double suite. S class Mercedes. Class of champagne. A double bath, three class caviar. Swiss quality. Ten people in your suite. A window view in the middle suite. A room service call button on the plane. Shower and spas. You're in your private suite. Oh, private. Millionaires. Millionaire champagne. And to be fair, we're gonna break down the first class flight into the following category and score them one by one. And also, I'm gonna show you how to fly these first class products at a lower and better cost. At the end of the video, we're gonna go through some of the future first class that is coming the next couple years. All right, sounds good? Shall we start? Let's go. Number five is ANA of Japan. Flying Honu, first class, here we come. Welcome to ANA. Flying Honu, first class, here we go. Look at this. Only the Japanese airline has cardigans. Love this concept. It's nice. So this material is organic cotton. This is the famous one, the Samsung knife. Hard suitcase. Looks like a man ticket. Caviar and coffee. Look at that. We have four kinds of perfect wine. The Cabernet Sauvignon. And this is Burgundy. Here's a special addition from Switzerland. And here's Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Falling asleep. Uh, the service took a little bit longer. It's about two and a half hours after takeoff. There is a great meal cheap. It's called it's a cheap lime jelly. Personally, I think ANA has great food, great products, great privacy, new seats, great TV screen. But I would say the airport experience is their weaker link. That uh, the first class experience should be special at the airport, but you know the lounge is fairly ordinary and also fairly crowded. So how we can fly ANA first class cheap? I think the obvious answer is using miles instead of cash but maybe you don't have enough miles, what to do? The best way is actually to buy miles on Live Miles. Live Miles is a mileage program of Avianca, which is a Star Alliance. You can redeem ANA First Class by buying those miles. Here, a one-way first class between US and Asia costs 90,000 Live Miles to redeem on ANA. Look at the cost here. It costs about $1,250, which is the cheapest way I found. Number four, Swiss International Airlines. Have a seat. Thank you. It's pretty incredible in transferred chauffeur driven around Zurich Airport in the S Class Mercedes. Welcome, Sam, to the E Lounge, the first class lounge of Swiss International Airlines. Would you like to have a glass of champagne? Sure. Molar. This is from it's France. A cuvée. No, cuvée. It's a from uh, Neuchâtel. It's a Swiss cuvée. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right oh here. my god, this is amazing. Look at this, a double bath and look out directly to all the planes. And look at this, this is especially for the plane spotter. All right, please come outside. Wow. 
Look at this. This is the 777 to Hong Kong, just right in front of me. It's be prepared. I was the first to board a flight and able to take some picture and video of the fresh cabin. Swiss Boeing 777 have eight first class private suites in one, two, one configuration. Eight first class armchairs turn into generous flatbeds. Each suite can be fully enclosed and come with a massive 32 inch entertainment screen. I really like the ambience on board, it is so welcoming and relaxing. The captain extends their warm tradition to greet the first class passenger one by one before takeoff. The crew told me Swiss have a caviar promotion at the moment, so passengers can taste three kinds of caviar. Some phallic salmon with some blini and some sour cream. is very wide and the quality of the mattress and the quilt comforter is beautiful it's Swiss quality I felt recharged refreshed and I love the private space the privacy was excellent So Swiss first class scores 76%. I think Swiss has a great lounge in Zurich. Great view, great transfer on limousines. Now on board, the products are pretty solid, but I think it just lack of a little bit wow factor there. Now here's the question, how to fly Swiss first class cheap? Unfortunately, it hasn't been easy using miles to redeem Swiss first class unless you are an elite member of the Lufthansa and Swiss Miles and More program. The cheapest way I did it myself is buy a first class round trip ticket in advance from Greece or from other Eastern European country to Asia. But when I did it, it was from Athens to Zurich, Zurich to Hong Kong, and a round trip Swiss uh, first class ticket costs around $3,000 include tax, which is pretty decent. Number three, Singapore Airlines. First passenger to try out a bed on Singapore Airlines. On this A380, there's two of these double suite. So you can combine to a gigantic double suite. This is actually all the amenities that you can actually store. The mirror over here, the stack panel over here. Just press this and you can actually shift. And for you to actually use the dining, then look at the side table over here. Hmm. You can actually do your baby. As for your convenience, you can actually shift it to the other side. So big, it's got so much personal space. You could have like 10 people in your suite, or you can have all to yourself, enjoy the space yourself. Singapore Airlines first class scored 88%. It has the biggest suite out of all the first class out there. 
In fact, it has a, a suite that can join together to create a double suite with double bed for two person traveling together. However, I think the airport experience for Singapore Airlines lacks behind some other first class products. Uh, they don't have limo scene. They recently just opened a new private room at Changi Airport and hopefully they can catch up in that category. So how to fly Singapore Airlines first class cheap, right? So the only way to redeem Singapore for airline first class now is using Chris Flyer Miles. That's their own mileage program. If you don't have Chris Flyer Miles, you could transfer from your existing credit card or hotel program into Chris Flyer. So there are many advantages of using a VPN. Personally, I use VPN to bypass internet censorship, to find cheaper travel, and to protect and encrypt my data. Internet censorship is a huge pain that when you travel to another country that you couldn't connect to your family or friends or business on the email or social media. So I use Surfshark VPN to bypass the censorship by connect to another country. And even better, I can connect to all the Netflix library with just one VPN subscription. With the help of Surfshark VPN, there are also possibility to find cheaper travel, cheaper air tickets, cheaper rental car, and cheaper hotel by connect to another country. For a frequent traveler like me, often use public Wi-Fi at the airport or in the hotel. The Wi-Fi is not stable and secure. When I want to send sensitive banking credentials, I will connect to Surfshark VPN to encrypt and protect my data. And here's the best deal for our viewers today. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.com slash Sam. Enter promo code Sam. You will get 83% off and three additional months for free. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Number two. Well, actually we don't have a number two, but instead we have a double winner. So the first winner is Emirates. I'm actually sitting in the middle first class suite and I have window views in the middle. You're right, a window view in the middle suite. Hey guys, I never enjoyed the middle suite as much as this one does. A video call button, a room service call button on the plane. Hey, Nick. Good morning, Mr. Chu. Trust you are enjoying your journey. What may I get you? So currently, there's only 10 777 featured a Game Changer suite. All the rest of the Emirates fleet, the A380, and the majority of the 777 has the older generation of the first class suite. Here they are. smiles because the caviar is my favorite starter in first class. It's served with a pearl spoon with really beautiful condiment. Presentation's fantastic. <laughs> beautiful red wine. They always said uh, Emmers has good red wine. Yeah. This is. Right? This is a good one, right? So the biggest match first class has over business class is the privacy. Look at this. You're in your private suite, private enclosure. You can have drinks, you can remove your mask, private dining. That's the biggest advantage. You don't share it with many people, right? This is only 
on the Emirates A380, the shower and spa. It's also a huge bathroom. After a heavy meal, I came here to change into my comfort clothes and I'm ready to go for the nap. Enjoy your rest. Okay, the doors closed, the best setup ready for bed. Today I'm gonna share with you a few tips how to fly in the Emirates first class or a little bit more affordable than paying a full fare, right? The only airlines you can redeem Emirates first class is of course Emirates Skywards and Qantas Freedom Flyer. So it is becoming more restrictive to redeem using miles to travel in first class. A lot of times at the check-in, Emirates offer a uh, fixed price upgrade. So just look out for that offer on online check-in or inquire at the check-in desk. If you look at a score, Emirates literally score five out of five in every category except the airport experience category. Now, I'm aware of Emirates provide a limo scene for first class and business class passenger. The walk at Dubai when you have a connecting flight there is long. It could be walking for miles for a first class passenger, go to the gates. And also the lounge in Dubai is also huge. It, it comprises the whole floor of the terminal. So it don't has the intimacy uh, feeling of any other lounge in first class category. How to fly Emirates first class? I think we already talked about that in the video. But you should pay attention if you fly out this country because this country offer a lower Emirates first class fare. These countries are South Africa, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Cairo, Egypt. The other best first class of 2022 is Air France La Première. Yeah, good to see you. Okay. So let's go down, mm -hmm. take the car. I cannot wait to start. Oh, hello, Captain. Oh, wow. I love your uniform. Yes, good. Very traditional. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. Right. What about you, Gavin? Oh, my private so dining nice. room. <laughs> this is really, really proper. Thank you so much. I actually have a mirror looking at myself here. It's a mirror, but it's also a TV. Oh, it's a TV as yeah, well. Wow. Right. Let's turn the TV yeah, on, watch right. TV and eat. <laughs> For you, the bottom foot is a foie and the deck. Oh, thank you. Right. I choose a buff click of ah. around them. The elbow pasta with a black truffle and corn cheese. Elbow pasta with truffle. These French dishes are 3,000 calories. The calorie doesn't count when you travel and having fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again. Thank Merci you. beaucoup. Bye bye. bye, -bye. This is the right side? Yes. Thank you so much. Champagne, not the millionaire. Millionaires. Millionaire champagne. Yes, exactly. Cheers. This is the foie gras in a ravioli. Oh, it's in the ravioli. Yeah, exactly. Uh, different Inside. style. Bordeaux, it's a Margot, Chateau Margot, it's a Bordeaux. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, nice. Oh, private. Very it's nice. Private. It's quite smart, right? It's not the door or panels. It's just a curtain. It's like a, your own little bubble here. And very smart. They use magnets to close the two pieces of curtain. So the Air France First Class La Premiere is very different to other First Class. It has a very different design and very, it feels very intimate inside the first class with only four seats. And also it has amazing food and beverage. I think the best part is the airport experience. No matter where you fly from and to, you will always have an airport representative to take care of you when you arrive at the airport, get you through the formality, into the lounge, and then on, personally escort you on board and the pilot will also greet you. And the same process when you arrive, 
So Air France La Première is also the most difficult first class using miles to fly. There is no cheap way literally to fly. So I think the best is if you have a business class tickets, when you do online check-in, sometimes there is a discount first class offer. That's just what exactly I did from Nice to Paris to Dubai, 1019 euros. Take advantage of that. So speaking of Air France La Première, the airline has announced new La Première from 2023 winter. So, so far they have only released very sketchy details. So let's take a look. They will have the longest cabin with five windows. That is one more window than the current La Premier suite. There will be a separate seat and sofa, which can transform into a bed. The monitors can be controlled from both sides. The current La Premier is only on Air France Boeing 777-300ER. But Air France has mentioned the new La Premier suites from 2023 winter onwards will be installed on more aircraft. So that's very interesting development and first class is still in demand. The next one is Qantas first class on the A350-1000. These new first class suites will be on non-stop flight from Sydney to New York and London. These routes will become the world longest commercial flight in the world. So from the design rendering, it looks like there's going to be a one bed by the window and one seat with a very nice furnishing. I think it will be a big upgrade from the current A380 first class Qantas has. Now imagine laying flat on the first class bed flying at 40,000 feet, look out to the windows. I think that would be quite a magic experience for Afghi like me. I'm looking forward to the Qantas product. It will start at late 2025. Additionally, there's also a well-being area. Now that is not just for first class. In fact, for a 20-hour flight from Sydney to London and New York, that's for every single passenger to stretch out in this well-being area. The next big first car development comes from Singapore Airlines on their upcoming Boeing 777-9, which will replace the 777-300ER that currently flies. Right now, there hasn't been any official computer rendering of the first class design, but there are lots of rumors online, and here's one of the pictures I found that could possibly be the next Singapore Airlines first class. So the Singapore Airlines CEO said the design right now is still in a conceptualization stage. But when they launch the new first class, it will set a new industry standard. It will be in fact a quantum leap of service and products for Singapore Airlines. So the big question is when this new product will come out. With uh, the 777X is getting more delayed, I would not expect the products will be uh, ready before 2025. The next first class coming next year is the Lufthansa first class. Lufthansa has announced they will have 10 new A350 based in Munich with first class seats. And these A350 will be replacing the aging A340-600. Most people expect the Lufthansa first class is going to be a bit more intimate than the current semi-open first class. So it could be a sweet. Well, that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have you flown first class? If you have, what's your top 5 first class experience? Please leave it in the comment and I would love to read them. Thanks again for watching today.